Hello there, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Candid Conversations. I hope that you are having the most fantastic, the most amazing, the most wonderful day. And if you are not, I pray that it progressively gets better. I had a thought. Some people have the propensity to slow you down or to derail you or to stop you in your tracks, both spiritually and naturally. Everyone who enters our lives are not supposed to be in our lives. And we have to be able to discern the difference. According to 1 Corinthians 15.33, it says that bad company corrupts good character. And when you have a good heart and when you want to do right by people, sometimes we tend to give too many people the benefit of the doubt. I encourage you to stop doing that because just like the scripture says, bad character corrupts good company. And I know that we are in an age and we're in a space where we're always talking about positive vibes and good energy, etc. I only surround myself with those types of things. But before those uh, words were being thrown out, before that terminology was actually being used, the Bible was talking about how bad character corrupts good company. And sometimes we think it's a vibe or energy or this, that, or the other, and it is a character issue. It is a lack of integrity. And so when people have a lack of character and a lack of integrity in our lives, then that is not someone that we should desire to be very close to because it is easy for those things to rub off on us when we are consistently in close proximity with someone who has bad character and a lack of integrity. And I know we're like, oh, you need to show grace. You need to have mercy. Uh, God shows us grace. God shows us mercy. And you're absolutely right. I'm absolutely a proponent for showing grace and for showing mercy and for giving people the benefit of the doubt. However, when we are seeing consistent patterns in the behavior of people, because we can only hide for so long and the person who we really are is eventually going to stand up in every situation. So if it's something consistent and it's something that's not being addressed, then we may have to remove ourselves from the situation because we have things to do, we have places to go, and we have people to impact. And with that being said, when someone's character and their integrity is off course, it's easy to kind of derail us from the things that we are supposed to be doing. There are some people in some situations that we're simply not assigned to. Even if we want to help, even if we want to be there for people, some things we are not assigned to. And so we have to learn the difference. Even when it's a situation where there's no bad character and there's not a lack of integrity, some situations are not our situations to be involved with. Some people are not our people to be involved with. It is okay. It is one of those things that we have to rectify. Why is it that we want to be involved in everything? Why is it that we want to be connected to everyone? Why do we want to be associated with everything? And when we're doing that constantly attaching and connecting and this, that, or the other, then we could not be in the place that we're supposed to be. And my prayer is that I would be in the place that I'm supposed to be, and I would be connected to the people that I'm supposed to be connected to and doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing. And so I have to learn how to discern the difference. Remember, bad character corrupts good company. It's not about a vibe, it's not about energy, 
It's about character and it's about integrity. Make sure that you have those two things. Make sure that we have those two things and we are connecting with like-minded people. Bye.